everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a thrift store haul. I went to a hospice, helping hands thrift store and I found some pretty cool junk journal supplies. I spent $12 and like 98 cents or $12 and some change. Anyway, their books were five for a dollar and then I got some sewing stuff so pretty cool I'm gonna show you the books first books were five for a dollar seasonal was 75 percent off and then the other thing I got was full price so um first thing I got was two of these three ring binders that are full of plant cards and little papers and I picked up two of them 20 cents each so awesome awesome awesomeness right here and um, these are 1985 um, I did look up the Roman numerals let's see right there I looked up the Roman numerals before we got started because I'm no good at Roman numerals so um, uh, look those up first. So I was excited to find these. These had not even come off the cart yet when I snapped those up. Next, I got this little Peanuts book. This is Peanuts movie. It's got some pretty cool little graphics in it. So I got that a couple weeks ago. I organized some of the stuff that I had and I put it in these little... Um, envelopes they have the closures on them and I started gathering up like matching things up so this one would be the peanuts so I have some old books that I already had and I'm going to add this to it it's a good place to keep everything together while you're like building up your supplies so I got that next I got two Star Wars books they're not vintage but I thought they'd be pretty cool to add in a journal or a planner layout I like to do like um, page dividers or um, just like a little insert to my my setup my my layouts in my planner so I picked those up next I got a 1961 book it says glad Easter day and I just thought it had some really cool little graphics and a sweet little story little um, Christian book anyway picked that up next I got a Tom and Jerry book um, it's I know it's not a 1955 book I had this book in the 70s and it was like the hard one but the only copyright was 1955 so that must have been when the original book was written it is an older book because the pages are really yellow and I feel like they're kind of like a different texture but this would make a cute like birthday month journal so I picked that up next I picked up this 1970 1957 um, counting rhymes it's got some of the rhymes I remember as a kid and some of them that I didn't know that I had never seen or don't remember um, like some of these I don't remember those some of the ones towards the back I do like this old man I remember that from when I was a kid but anyway really cool I could tell it's old by the um, signature stitching anyway so I was glad to pick that up next I got Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer this is a Montgomery Ward wishes you a Merry Christmas. It was from 1967. This is a reprint from the original that was printed. Let me see. So it was originally printed in 1939, and it gives you the whole story of how Rudolph was born. And it was actually because Montgomery Ward did a um advertisement um and they added Rudolph they came up with Rudolph and it tells you the whole story right there 
So I thought it was really cool and it's got some pretty cool little graphics that I can put up and save. Anyway, so I thought that was cool. This is uh, Montgomery Ward is where Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was born. So I thought that was really cool. I did not realize that that was the history of Rudolph. And the next, I got this Huntsville is my town. Got some family history in Huntsville. And I was hoping to be able to, you know, read through this book and see if I could find any really um, family history. But I don't, once I started looking through it, I really don't think that I will find anything related to any family that I know of. But anyway, it has got some pretty cool little stuff in there, but really probably not anything I can use. Next, I picked up this uh, Joy Block. Um, it was blue. I don't remember how much it was. It was 75% off, and I don't know how much she charged me. A Less than a dollar, probably. I don't know, 25 cents. I don't know. Next is my most exciting find, and it was these two bins. One I opened just to kind of check it out, but they were $5 each, and they are full of Rick Rack and Bias. Well, I don't know what's in this one, but this one I did open, and it has got some a really cool things in it. Like, I'm not going to go through everything, but... I know it was well worth the five dollars. Some of it's a little vintage, and some of it's surely not at all. I feel like maybe these are vintage. So just tons of bias tape, all different makes and models, and all of that. I mean, just gobs of it. more 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 so much so but I thought we could open this one together so let me see so today I wish we went to the thrift store yesterday on the day off today we went to Pearland and it is so windy guys in Texas it's crazy windy and it's making it feel so cold outside um, we came home just a little bit ago and it's like already dark outside and what I didn't see is that half well not half but like a large chunk of my privacy fence is down like the whole thing is laid down so I didn't mess with it tonight but I guess tomorrow that's what I'll be I'm trying to figure out how to get that all put back up and secured and everything I'm not looking forward to that so this is what it looks like before I take everything out but let's just see what we got here lots of goodness I'm telling you I don't want them to get them mixed up so they'll go back in the so like I say some of it is but Okay, like even if it's used, but the lady that owned these had them all secured. Let's see. So awesomeness. Oh my goodness. So much. So much so. Oh, look. These are vintage. Those are vintage. 30 cents. There's some more. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what you use that for. I don't know. Anyway, oh my. Like this is vintage. 40 cents. Well, maybe this one's got a little bit more vintageness I don't know guys so anyway I was pretty excited to find all this this is really a good deal five bucks I don't even know how much it would be if I had paid full price but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if I bought ten of these 
for a dollar each. Well, that's ten dollars worth, and I still got a whole bunch. Like this is just one bushel. That is so much awesomeness. I was super excited for that. But anyway, guys, that is it. That's my haul. This is just one little bin, plus all the ones I dropped on the floor in the other bin. So exciting. Um, that's it, guys. Huh, we are like exhausted. We have been on the go shopping all the deals today and just having a good time um, out there in the streets. So, so windy. Oh my goodness, and it's so cold. And Pearland is just like open. Like, it's not a mall, it's like store, store, store. So, like, all the wind is so strong. And, uh, Anyway, we had a good time. We ate at Red Robin. I got a burger at Red Robin. It was really good. And just, you know, get to spend the day. Usually we spend Sundays, family day, but we stepped it up a day and we went today, which is better because tomorrow I can stay home and wash clothes and get ready for the work day and all that stuff. But super fun. And I hope y'all had an amazing day. Hope you're having an amazing weekend. Please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button. Become part of my YouTube family and friends. I would love to have each and every one of y'all part of the family. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Bye.